Uh, Minister, thanks for coming uh, for these important and necessary statements tonight. And I just want to begin by uh, expressing my sympathies and the sympathies of my party uh, and our solidarity with all those uh, who have lost their lives, uh, particularly uh, in uh, the recent days and weeks of this latest uh, series uh, of incidents. Uh, Minister, I, I don't really have the time, none of us do uh, here tonight, to do justice uh, to the context um, that's required in a debate such as this. But in the limited time uh, afforded to me, uh, I do think it is important to lay out some of that context because the last couple of days, the last week, hasn't happened without context. And we have laid it out in this house with you and your presence here uh, in this term and indeed uh, in the last uh, term. So in no way do I seek to be uh, reductive, uh, Minister, but just a snapshot uh, of some of that context that strikes me. There is, of course, uh, a colonizer and the colonized. There are, of course, those who are implementing apartheid and those who suffer uh, that apartheid. There are those who are driving people from their homes and demolishing them, and those who become refugees as a result. There are those who build illegal separation walls and those forced to live behind them. There are those who break international law and the Geneva Convention, and there are those who are victims of these war crimes. There are those who cry out for international support, solidarity and help, and there are those who bomb the media outlets through which these people try to do it. So, Minister, you'll forgive me, but when concluding your remarks, you ask uh, you know, being in possession of all of this information and knowing this, you've said you've been to Gaza and other places, you then ask for Israel to act responsibly. It strikes me that they have no desire whatsoever to act responsibly. So I think what this state, and indeed states throughout the world, need to do is to act responsibly in response to the flagrant breaches of international law by Israel to the vast slaughter carried out against the Palestinian people. And just some of the measures that strikes me in the very limited time I have available to me uh, this evening is that we actually use the UN Security uh, Council seat for practical outcomes, that we recognize the state of Palestine, adhere to the will of the Oireachtas and recognize the state of Palestine, and as other colleagues uh, have said, implement um, the Occupied Territories Bill. Because I don't doubt for one second, Minister, the sincerity and the forthrightness of your words, whether in this chamber or in other chambers. But it's time now we move beyond words and we moved in the action, because we owe that to the people who has rightly been acknowledged are suffering, enduring and dying as we speak. Karamayin.